Hey guys, in this video we are going to make this mini Oscar receiver using Arduino. So let's get started. For this project, you will need the Arduino Core Mini, the assembly version of the NR2401 module, a 3.3 voltage regulator and some wires. You can find the list of components that we need for this project in my website and also the links where you can buy them at a very cheap price and be getting it delivered very fast to you. Check in the description below where you can find the links to go to my website for this list of components. Here I am applying solder to the NOF before soldering the wires. Make sure to do it very gently as NOF is very sensitive to heat, excessive heat can damage your NOF. After all the solder applied to the pin, we are going to solder the wires to the NOF according to this circuit. You can find this, this diagram in my website, check in the description below where you can find the links for the diagram in my website. Next, we have to stick the NOF to the Arduino Pro Mini. For this, I am using double-sided tape. Now we have to stick the NRF to the audio. Next, we are going to solder all the wires according to the circuit shown just before. Make sure to check the circuit well in my website. And this is how it should look like. Know that I have not connected the ground and the 3.3 volt input of the NRF yet as we have to connect it to the 3.3 voltage regulator i am using double sided tape again to stick the voltage regulator to the audio next we have to connect the vcc pin of the audio to the nrf pin input sorry not the nrf the voltage regulator pin input and i have also come in the ground of the Arduino and the NRF and then connect it to the voltage regulator. Here is what it should like and I have also connected two wires to connect the NRF to sorry the Arduino to the battery. I am using a 3.7 volt LiPo battery before connecting the voltage input of the NRF to the voltage regulator we have to check if the voltage output of the regulator is between 2.9 to 3.3 volt as we can damage the NRF and this is the output voltage of the voltage regulator you can see it is showing 3.04 volt which is good this is my oscilloscope that I am using you can find links where you can buy it in my website if you want it i have also added a 10 microfarad of capacity to the voltage output of the voltage regulator and i am also soldering a wire to the digital pin 3 of the audio and the ground in order to receive a pwm signal I am using the FTDI programmer to program the audio. Here is the connector. I am connect I have I am soldering sorry, I am soldering some wires to the audio to connect it to the FTDI programmer. Here is what it should look like. Now we have to connect it to the FTDI programmer like this. Now we have to program it. To program it, make sure you have the Arduino ID and NRF library installed. If you don't have the NRF library installed yet, you have to go to the sketchers, manage, include libraries, manage libraries, and search for the OF24. 
then you have to scroll down and install the one saying R24 by THML20 you can see I have already installed it if you don't have it you just have to click install here next I'm going to program it I'm going to put it in password but there are some points that I have to tell you in order for this code to work well this line should be the same for the transmitter and here you have to initialize the CE and CSN pin of the NRF in the Arduino which I have connected to the digital pin 7 and 8 here I have added a line to print the out the input data from the receiver in the serial monitor. Now we are going to upload it to the audio. You can see the LED blinking, meaning that our code is successfully uploaded to the audio. Now to test it, we have to use a transmitter. Here is a simple transmitter I made using Arduino Uno and NR24. Here is a circuit diagram for it. You can find this also in my website. Make sure to check the description in the the description below for the links. I have added a potential meter to far, to vary the PWM signal. And I am using my oscilloscope again to measure the received data from the transmitter. You can check your serial monitor if you don't have this. But if you want it, you can always check the links to buy it in my website where you can find it for a very cheap price and uh, very fast, fast deliveries. So you can see the PWM signal is working. We are receiving the data. Now I have I have disconnected the FTDI programmer. I am using my 3.7 volt LiPo battery and connect it to the Arduino. And you can see where we are receiving the signal. yeah so here it is we are receiving the signal and we can vary it using our potential beta so this project was a success now you can unconnect all the wires here you can see it is working perfectly so this is our mini also receiver using audio as you can see it is very small it is even smaller than our battery it is very light also you can use it for your mini or sibling projects or drone project make sure to subscribe subscribe to my website and like this video if you like it and dislike it if you don't like it 